hello everybody today i'm gonna show you how you can use a timeline function in different way in unreal engine 5 so let's start so first of all i will uh, create a folder i name it uh, blueprint you can name whatever you want then i will create a blueprint uh, this will be actor blueprint i name it bp elevator then i will create a second uh, actor blueprint i name it uh, bp door and for the last i will create a widget uh, which i name uh, wbp uh, gameplay i save all of this now i open the widget and from the palette i search uh, canvas panel and podras bar i just place my podras bar here make a scale and compile and save now i'll go to my third person character here i will add a, a custom event i name it health increase you can name whatever you prefer then I add a sequence, add it with the event begin play, and then add uh, the health increase in here. So when the game starts, uh, the health increase event graph will run. I'll create a variable and I will make a make it float, float type. Then I add a timeline function. You can name the timeline function by the way. I'll go inside it and I add a track, float track, uh, shift and mouse left button. It will uh, create a two track. The first track will be 0, 0 on time and value. The second track I will add the time 2.5 and value will be 1. If I touch those two options, it will show this compile and save. Now I go to my widget uh, gameplay and from here I will create a bind on percent. And from here I will get uh, player character and pass to my player character which is third person character. I will make it a pure cast. And from here we will uh, get our health uh, uh, variable which we created. Now we will compile and save. Now if we play we will show we will see nothing because we didn't add the gameplay widget to our character so I can edit here create widget and add the widget in here WBP gameplay and on return value add to viewport edit here and edit here compile and save now if we play still we will not see anything because we don't uh, add uh, the uh, variable in timeline now add it here compile and save now if we play we can see that uh, on the 2.5 second our health uh, value will be full so we can uh, also add uh, something else in here like uh, 5 second and uh, value is 0 compile and save so now if we uh, play we can see our health will increase and decrease after 2.5 second total uh, 5 second it will increase on 2.5 second and decrease on 2.5 second so this is how you can use uh, timeline function now I will go to my elevator and on here I will add a cube I just uh, make it uh, like a elevator floor it's just a demo I hope you understand uh, scale one yes it will take good so on <coughs> so on event take I add a timeline and on the timeline I can add a, I can make it a vector I just lock x and y axis I will uh, only work on z axis because you know in z axis if we uh, value up and down it will go up and down so just like before i add 2 3 on pressing shift and mouse left button 
the second key will be 2.57 then value will be 200 and first one is value is 0 and time also 0 so if we add uh, 200 in here you can see it will go up like this now add a cube in here now it's our uh, value is in vector so i just uh, break the vector x y and z axis i add a set relative location and also split it and add the z value on z axis so it will up only on z now just uh, place the elevator floor in here now if we play you can see it will go up and uh, 2.57 but it will not come down because we didn't do something like uh, we did in uh, gameplay now create another uh, key and make the value 0 and time is 5 so it will go up on uh, 2.57 and go down on 2.57 just like our gameplay uh, progress bar so same thing we can do in our door I just add a cube just like uh, BP elevator and I just squeeze it like it and up it like this so it, it, it will look like a door and it open uh, from here and now on event begin player by the way you can add it in event begin play event it but it would be better if you add it even begin play so just uh, create a float uh, track uh, add a two key first one is obviously zero zero a second one is time is 2.5 and value will be 90 because on 90 degree rotation it will uh, open like 90 degree just like the door open just uh, i just add default sin root previously i add the key but this time the sin root so add the set relative rotation previously we had uh, location now it's rotation I split it like xyz and you can see it will rotate in z axis and add the value to the set compile and save and place the door in here now if we play you will see the door will open like uh, 90 degree on z axis uh -huh. Now we can do the same like here. Uh, uh, make another key. Time is uh, five second. Uh, value will be zero. Mm, save, compile and save. Now if we play, we can see it's uh, open and close. So this is a very simple use of uh, timeline variable, timeline function. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe my channel and like it. I have to see you next time. Bye bye.